A universe within our atomic odyssey. Our quest to understand the universe begins with the atom. This tiny realm, once a matter of philosophical debate, now lies at the heart of modern science. We've journeyed far from the ancient Greeks to the realm of quantum mechanics. Join me as we trace this incredible saga, a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. Prepare to delve into the atom, a universe within. From ancient philosophers to pioneering scientists, the atom has captivated our imaginations for centuries. We'll traverse this captivating landscape, encountering brilliant minds and groundbreaking discoveries. Get ready to explore the atom, the fundamental building block of our universe. Ancient Seeds of Wisdom, from Philosophy to Atomos. Imagine a world constructed from tiny, indivisible particles. This was the vision of Democritus, an ancient Greek philosopher. He called these particles atomos, meaning uncuttable. Democritus believed that atoms were eternal and existed in a void, constantly in motion. However, another prominent philosopher, Aristotle, disagreed. He favored the idea that all matter is made up of atoms Aristotle's influence held sway for centuries, eclipsing Democritus's atomic theory. But the seeds of atomic thinking had been sown, waiting for the right time to sprout. Dalton's Building Blocks Unveiling the Atomic Foundation Fast forward to the 19th century, where John Dalton, an English chemist, resurrected the atomic concept. Dalton's atomic theory rooted in experimental observation, laid the groundwork for modern chemistry. His theory, published in 1808, revolutionized our understanding of matter. Dalton's theory rested on five key points. First, all matter is composed of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. Second, atoms of a given element are identical in mass and properties. Third, Atoms of different elements are different in size, mass, and chemical properties. Fourth, atoms of different elements combine in simple ratios to form compounds. Finally, chemical reactions involve the rearrangement of atoms, not their creation or destruction. Dalton's atomic theory provided a solid foundation for chemistry, but it wouldn't be the final word. The atom, as we would soon discover, held more secrets waiting to be uncovered. The cathode ray mystery, Thomson's electron enigma. In the year 1897, J.J. Thomson, a British physicist, made a groundbreaking discovery using a device called a cathode ray tube. This tube contained ionized gas, a vacuum chamber, and two electrodes, which were crucial for the experiment. When a high voltage was applied, a mysterious ray emitted from the negative electrode, or cathode, creating a fascinating fluorescent glow. Thomson's experiments revealed that these cathode rays were streams of negatively charged particles, which was a revolutionary idea at the time. These particles, much smaller than atoms, were later named electrons. Thomson's discovery shattered the long-held notion of atoms as indivisible particles, changing the course of scientific thought. To explain his findings, Thomson proposed the plum pudding model of the atom. Imagine a positively charged sphere pudding with negatively charged electrons embedded within, like raisins in a dessert. This model, while an improvement over Dalton's solid spheres, still lacked a complete picture of atomic structure, but it paved the way for future discoveries. Rutherford's Gold Foil Experiment Probing the Atom's Heart Ernest Rutherford, a New Zealand-born physicist whose groundbreaking work would forever change the field of atomic physics. In 1917, Rutherford conducted his famous gold foil experiment, a pivotal moment that forever altered our understanding of the atom's structure. He bombarded a thin sheet of gold foil with alpha particles, which are positively charged particles emitted by radioactive materials. Rutherford expected most of the alpha particles to pass straight through the foil, 
based on the then accepted plum pudding model of the atom. To his astonishment, some alpha particles were deflected at large angles, and very few, i.e. 1 out of 12,000, bounced back. An outcome that was completely unexpected. This unexpected result suggested a concentrated positive charge at the atom's center, leading to a revolutionary new understanding. In this new model, the atom is mostly empty space, with a tiny, dense, positively charged nucleus at the center, fundamentally changing atomic theory. The negatively charged electrons orbit the nucleus, much like planets orbiting the sun, creating a dynamic and stable atomic structure. This model is also called as planetary model of atom. Rutherford's experiment led to the development of the nuclear model of the atom, a significant leap in scientific thought. While Rutherford's nuclear model was a significant advancement, it had limitations. It couldn't explain why atoms emit light at specific wavelengths, known as atomic spectra. Rutherford also didn't specify how electrons are arranged in their orbits. Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist, addressed these limitations by incorporating quantum theory into the atomic model. Bohr proposed that electrons orbit the nucleus in specific energy levels named as K, L, M and N. Electrons can jump between these energy levels by absorbing or emitting photons of light. The energy of the photon corresponds to the difference in energy between the two levels. Bohr's model successfully explained the atomic spectra of hydrogen, but it couldn't accurately predict the spectra of more complex atoms. The quest for a more complete atomic model continued. The 1920s witnessed the birth of quantum mechanics, revolutionizing physics and our understanding of the atom. Scientists like Erwin Schrödinger, Werner Heisenberg and Paul Dirac developed a new model that abandoned the deterministic orbits of Bohr's model. The quantum mechanical model describes electrons not as particles following precise paths, but as waves of probability. Instead of well-defined orbits, electrons exist in clouds called orbitals, representing the probability of finding an electron in a particular region of space. Furthermore, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle states that we cannot simultaneously know both the position and momentum of an electron with perfect accuracy. This inherent uncertainty is a fundamental aspect of the quantum world. The ever-evolving atom, a journey without end. Our journey through the atom highlights the ever-evolving nature of scientific understanding. From Democritus's indivisible atomos to the probabilistic electron clouds of quantum mechanics, our picture of the atom has become increasingly complex and nuanced. Each new discovery, each refined model, builds upon the foundation laid by those who came before. And while the quantum mechanical model offers our most accurate representation of the atom to date, the quest for deeper understanding continues. The atom, once a philosophical concept, has become a frontier of scientific exploration, revealing the wonders and complexities of the quantum world.